Hello! Welcome to another episode of the Beard Lib Editor Tutorial. Uh, I haven't done this for a while, I've been pretty busy, but um, I've still been helping people on the Discord server, so if you ever need help, just pop in there, go to the mod, uh, what is it, map helping? What's the title of it? Map making assistance. Yes. Uh, anyways, so I have one person that came to me with an issue. And it's a very common issue, and it's for a crash log that has, what does it say? Oh yes, it could not load texture because I direct 3D9 blah 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 could not allocate sufficient memory. So that crash log is very common when you make maps. Uh, I used to have it all the time when I, well, first had it when I made a uh, broken arrow because it's such a big map so what that uh crash lock is is it's pretty much saying there's not enough memory to uh load everything so pay to two old game it only can load so many items so how to fix that so here's the the guy's heist how to fix that is let me show you on here. There you go. So here's the heist. Excuse the name. If we just open up the main XML, I like to use Notepad++, but you can use whatever program you want. Um, even just standard Windows uh, Notepad will also work. As long as you can edit text, it'll work fine. But you'll notice, um, here's the level, and there's a lot of packages. So every package, like we talked about in earlier episodes when you load a unit, every package has a megabyte number to it. So if this is 1 megabyte, then 5 megabytes, then 10 megabytes, 30 megabytes, you know, all that adds up. That's total 50 megabytes right there. So if you add up all of these, I'm sure that this is a lot of megabytes, and it's probably um, a lot of the reason why the the, uh, the map is un unable to load, because there's so many things being loaded at once that it's hitting the limit. So you get that crash, how do you fix it? You could just open up the main XML. This is how I do it, so I just go, Boop, delete. You no longer have any packages. All of them are gone. So once you've deleted everything, go into the game, hit safe mode. This is very important because then you'll just crash because uh, the units can't be loaded. And then you load up the level. Uh, as we talked about before, when you load a level in the safe mode, you don't see anything, you can't move. But we go in here, we can see all the items right here, is all the unloaded stuff. So, what we can do here is hit fix by searching packages. And it might take a while because... There's a lot of packages and a lot of units to um, scan for. There you go. Alright, so we can look on here and we can see a whole bunch of packages, some of which are orange, some of which are not. And I'll explain what each of these um, like colors means. So, orange means that it has the best ratio. So the 2958, it's better than the 858, right? Has the best ratio, but it also has um, the least amount of size. So this one, it's pretty big, but it owns about half of the, the units in the level. That's okay. Um, I usually try to get around one unit is around one megabyte or less. So there's 13 right here for 
10. That's a pretty good deal. But this 10 right here for 50 is not a good deal. Nor is this 9 to 60. So um, at this point, you can just hit and load the assets. Just keep loading it back up once you're done. Uh, every time you do it, it will change, of course. And sometimes you might have to sacrifice a little bit, so I think I'm going to load this one. Then... This one... Fixed by searching packages... This one... This might take a while just to load everything. You know what? This is only loaded one, so I'm just going to delete that. We don't need it. At the point where you feel like uh, you got most of your items loaded, the rest are... There's only 16 items left, but they're not in really good ratios. You see the 316, there's the 216, that's not really worth it, and then the 116. We could technically just load one package for every unit, but again, that would go back to the same issue we had before, where you'd start uh, crashing. So, at this point, we got our packages right here, but we have a whole bunch of red text right here for all the missing units. What I like to do is just fix by loading from extract. In order to use the extract loading, you gotta make sure that you have an extract of the game in your assets folder. So, fixed by loading extract, you only really need these three things. This is default, so you just hit export. Uh, sometimes it crashes, but I think that's been a fix. Yeah, and then that's your genesis. All units are now loaded. Load to normal mode. Yes. So we'll load everything up. And why did it crash? Let's check the crash log. Uh, interesting. Okay, so it's unrelated to the, the thing that we were just making. So let's try to load it up again. So either, either there's a missing unit for the laser, or that was just a random crash. I know that the laser trigger you, uh, element does require a unit to be loaded, and I don't think that unit is loaded. Uh, I don't think that unit was listed. So I'll try one more time. If I crash again, I'm gonna. I guess show you how to fix the laser trigger because that uh, what I did kind of unloaded it yeah I did crash okay double feature let's go Okay, so in order to fix this, because I can't load into level, I, I need to load into a level that doesn't have the trigger, so I'm going to load into the tutorial map. Our old buddy. In which case, I might, after this episode, also make a uh, special objectives episode. But I don't know too much about special objectives, so I don't want to... I don't want you guys to take my word as gospel, because um, they even mess me up all the time. So if I go to laser trigger, whoops, laser trigger. Yeah, so it does add, require this gen prop laser blaster dome, which could be loaded with this. So I'm going to hit load. 
and let me open up let me show you guys what I'm doing there so I'm going to my tutorial map my test video open up the main XML I'm gonna find this haunted trap because that's the package I just loaded I don't need it on this level so I'm just gonna close it and I'm gonna open it on this level and paste it into there wait no not that one that not not that level paste it onto this level there you go that's the right one just gonna move that one there okay and now I'm gonna go into here And there we go, no crash. So it was just the missing um, tech, uh, what's it called? The missing unit for the, oh, I didn't show you guys. <laughs> it loaded in fine, there it is, so you can see. So the issue was, there was, so we can look on this, you can say element laser trigger. So you can see something is wrong with this element laser trigger. You can see that's trying to create the create the element right and if it's trying to create it I, I've used the laser trigger before I used it on bag simulator 2 so I know that it has a unit that it attaches to so I knew that most likely it's trying to create the laser trigger but doesn't have the unit so that's how I figured out that um, I, I know that reading some crash logs are a little hard I've learned it over the years Sometimes there's crash logs that I don't even know, so don't stress too hard on that. But as you can see, the level works perfectly fine. And if I'm going to show you guys this thing. So if I bring over my Steam, whoops. I bring over my Steam, we go into Payday 2, Properties, Launch Options, and we just type in dash QA. We load up the game. So once it loads up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I hope I put it in the right code. Launch options. Yeah, so you can see right here, on the top left right here, it shows you the FPS that you're getting. Um, and then you're also showing you the used memory. So, <clears throat> if we go into the level... Just as a proof that this did indeed reduce the memory usage of this level. I mean, obviously it did because I can load into it now. But. So if we go into here. Interesting helicopter moving. All right, so I don't want to show you the map because it's his. It's his choice to show it if he wants to or not. But as you can see on the top left, there is a memory usage of 1600, and uh, the rest of it doesn't matter too much, but the used memory 1600 is very important. You can see there, the game pay to 2 has a memory limit of around uh, 3.2 gigs. Something around that. It's around the 3 gigs mark. So, if you have too many packages, that used memory number will go up. Once it, hit three, it hits 3 gigs or 3,000 megabytes, it won't load anymore. It will crash because of the doesn't have enough memory to use it. So you can see now, this is using half of the allotted memory that the game can use. 
so this map won't work perfectly fine and as you can see I get 160 FPS so it's very well optimized so that is how you deal with the memory crash and uh, how to fix it yeah hope that helped see you in the next episode whatever that is <laughs>